Hello, it's with an amnesia here. I'm editing this Victorian era British police cutlass. It's uh, 1865 uh, pattern, I think. Big sword nerd. It's, it's basically on the picture, so I'm, I'm not a big sword nerd. But if you zoom out here, and so it looks like kind of. I want to get some more edges, uh, edge work done here. So it, uh, so I, when I import it into BAM Workshop, it's better, transparent. There's, there's no chance of like, little pixels of uh, beige on the side. So when you really zoom out. It looks like uh, probably this inside the game because it's not quite uh, restored the the level of scaling as the 1998 Baldur's Gate. And then we zoom in here. This is what I want it to be like. So it looks pretty good. I thought this would be a good base uh, default cutlass for Baldur's Gate because it's simple. It doesn't quite have the big hand protection, the the, the dish thing, the um that the uh, kind of rapiers have. It's kind of simple, right? It has the uh, you know simple cross guard. And actually, in the 16th century. Uh, when cutlasses are kind of, you know, they're some earlier versions, right? They uh, they didn't have the super advanced hand protection. Well, some of them did, but it was it was less it was less common. So this kind of harkens back to the days of when cutlasses are kind of first being uh, made. And also, I couldn't quite find one as in such a sheen new condition, right? So I found this to be a generally uh, appealing sword, right? This is a, this is actually a photograph. But yeah, editing up, so I'm gonna put it in the game. I thought this would be a good base design because it's simple, it's nice, it has that brass hilt that all the uh, other swords, like the Bastard Sword that the Brawler's Gate have. I can uh, somewhat uh, tilt it, probably in Photoshop or something like that, I just mix the trace uh, outline and then just uh, tilt it, rotate it to this kind of same thing. It's also, it's flat on this picture and it's, the, the sword is nice, there's no like big brown streaks or whatever, like, uh, like, or just red tan. Sometimes people take pictures, and it's so reflective that, like, they kept on, like, for example, I have a different one over here. Like, this one's just white. This one's just white, kind of, kind of a bit bland. Looks like it's been hi highlighted a bit too much. I did some research also, uh, so swords and stuff. So this is just, this is just one. I, I did so much research that the tabs basically overflow. So this is the uh, fourth page that this has happened to me. So if we go in my cutlass file here, this is extra. I didn't actually think of this in video, but yeah, I've done, I've done a whole bunch of, uh, Cutlass uh, saves, so it's just like this. So basically, there's some in here that are really good for like magical stuff. Like, um, well, so where is this really cool one? It's like this. Uh, what is it called? Inverse. Da -da -da -da, this one right here. This guy looks pretty good. Well, it's not quite a cutlass. It's almost like a scimitar or something like that. So he looks cool. And I found some other swords. This guy uh, is gonna be this guy, or this guy. But more I was thinking who's gonna be the default one. This guy was kind of on a weird angle. And this guy has a little bit more uh, better imagery, whatever, to him. Had a little bit more, a little bit more appealing. So I chose this guy. So I'm just doing some edge work on the blade here and up here. So it looks like it's you know the cutlass, right? I could do it in like uh, Photoshop, where I just go you know, click the thing where it's the magic wand, whatever, and goes, but ding. But you know, I kind of like it doing it by hand. Give it something to do. This is uh, what I'm working up to. I'm gonna make some cut a line of cutlasses because I don't have to make any sprites. I don't have to make any crazy things. Like I'll do it with the looser and hammer and some maybe some other weapons. But this will be an easy way to uh, put it in the game. You know, cutlasses are already, uh, I think the second edition has them. There's that uh, link I have with all the weapons on my uh, super awesome developer team message things. Uh, there's a link in there. I'll probably put it in the video description. Uh, the second edition of the whole bunch of uh, weapons, what all those stats are. So yeah, I just thought, yeah, here's me with the cutlass working on it. And this will be the default one. And uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, bye for now. Take care. Have any thoughts or insights, uh, please reply to me somehow. And um, yeah, so take care. Bye for now. Have a good one. We'll pass.